is moving, K-H-O-U is grooving, I'm feeling it cause it's gonna be, we're about to get it going, our happiness is showing, we're rocking it cause it's gonna be, great day! Here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. This morning, we're starting off with a story that especially animal lovers will connect with. This beautiful macaw, Grover, went missing, not because he flew the coop, but he was stolen from his home. After a full search party began online and off, a good Samaritan came forward to return the rare bird. Here to share his story is Sean Welling and Grover. Hi there. Hey, Deborah. All right, this is one of those things where you see a sense of community uh, and people who understand that animals are a part of our family. And so, People are working to get Grover back to you. So let's back up and uh, tell us, first of all, what kind of bird is Grover? This is a hyacinth macaw. There's about 2,800 left in the world. Yeah, because no wonder I have not seen one of these in my backyard. E exactly. <laughs> uh, so Grover came to me 11 years ago, and he, I think the audience would like to know, this is important, he has the brain and understanding of a six-year-old. Oh, wow. So it's like taking a child from our family, and we're so happy to have him back. Yeah, what part of the world are they from? Central America. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, make this all unfold. Grover's been with you for several years. You come home and what do you notice? Well, we were actually in California uh, filming and we got the message uh, that uh, he was stolen. So we immediately got on our plane and came back and found uh, some evidence here and there what possibly happened from our video surveillance camera. Yeah. Uh, our poor dog, Max, was trying to prevent it from happening. So, yeah, because Max, you see, is barking, so he knows that something's going on in the home, right? Yes, and you can hear in the surveillance camera actually Grover crying for help. They, they grew up together. Oh, wow. Um, they're, they're best buds, so. Okay, so did you actually see a person take Grover out? No, you could see something happen in the background. And of course, now the surveillance cameras all over the place. Yeah. We've got a Fort Knox lockdown, but uh, we couldn't see anything. Yeah, so you get home, it's open. And so the hard part with this is that, uh, you know, with, with people, you're hoping people can talk and people can do things to get away. But with an animal, it's completely different. However, he does talk, doesn't he? Yeah, it's, it's like small, uh, stealing a small diamond that screams in the morning, screams in the evening. He does it for a short period of time. Yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty calm. and. Uh, He's pretty powerful, too. He's a strong bird. All right, what you had the advantage of is social media, and it's immediate. So you put it out there, and what happened? It, well, the, the reward for the bird went viral. And everybody, it was high. That reward yeah, was high. It was kind of like seeing Pet Detective in real life, and everybody was after this blue bird, mostly because they wanted to return back to the home. Yeah. And um, so great, great support from society. So you got a phone call. Yes. We got a phone call about 4.30 in the afternoon, and the guy says, I have your bird. And I didn't really know if it was going to be you know, a legit guy or not, um, but it came out to be he was a really good Samaritan. He declined to take the reward, and he just wanted the bird back home safe. Uh, and what had happened, was this somebody tried to sell, or somebody, actually somebody sold the bird to him, right? There was a sign that said, uh, rare bird for sale? Right, off Westheimer, uh, far up Westheimer, there was a, a car that had him in the back seat. It was hot, and he was being fed you know, inappropriate food, and the guy was a bird lover. He's a fantastic gentleman, and uh, he got the bird, and he knew it was our bird two days later when he saw the reward. Yeah. With so much going on in the world right now, why do you think it is that this kind of took off? Last week, the story made the New York Times. Why do you think this type of story made the New York Times? Well, I think, first off, it, it, Grover is a very endangered species, and that's one thing I think is important. The other thing is that it's a very odd scenario. It's not very unique. Um, and uh, Grover is what they call gentle giant. He's, he's almost human, and he's very sweet. And he's part of the dance community as well, which supported this whole cause to get him back. Yeah, and we say part of the dance community. Of course, we know that you being part of the dance community here in Houston uh, for quite some time. You have a dance company. You have performances all over the place. Uh, you know, the other part of the story, I think the reason why it, it made the news is that you had, like I mentioned, a pretty high reward for Grover, and the person said no. Right. It's like a lot of people would not do that. 
It, it was amazing. The whole afternoon, we couldn't believe it. Here's the, the crazy part of the story. He pulls up in his car, and he didn't have it in a cage, Deborah. He didn't have it in some sort of carrier. He was in the front seat. Grover was right in the front seat <laughs> on the headrest. He just pulls up, and I look at him. That's and because he in the went window. to the HOV lane, and he needed to have another passenger. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. So uh, Grover just came back happy and safe, and he flew in my arms, and, and we've been just buds ever since, as we were before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I happen to, I think, you haven't caught the person who did it yet, right? No. I, no. I think I know why the person probably ended up just wanting to get rid of him, because I think Grover went, Thief! Because <laughs> Grover does say a few words, right? Yes, he does. He uh, a lot of people come by in the neighborhood with dogs, and he'll tell the dogs to sit. Of course, we have three <laughs> dogs. He goes sit, 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 and then he'll pant like the dogs. You know, <laughs> uh, and of course, he says my name and a few other words. Yeah. He's increasing his vocabulary day by day. And I want to wrap up with, I know a lot of people look at a bird like this and we think, oh, I want something like that. I want a bird. Um, they're beautiful, but just keep in mind what it takes to, to, to keep something like this. Oh, yeah. You have to really spend a lot of time with the bird. Make sure they have a lot of human interaction. That's the most important thing. All right. Sean, we're so happy that you all have been reunited. And thanks for kind of sharing this good news story with us this morning. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, coming up, hear how this magic eraser could help buff paint off your banged up car. We'll show you this and other interesting life hacks that could help you save money and time next.